I'm going to talk about foundations in smart build systems for post frame. So I'm in a job under the main building tab under the foundation section. We have two types of foundations, either stem wall, which will put a full foundation wall underneath, or post hole. So the depth refers to the depth of the hole from grade. So right now we have this set at three feet, so that's three feet below grade. Post offset is the offset of the bottom of the post from the bottom of whatever our depth is. So in this case it's zero, this is going all the way to the bottom of the hole. If we put four inches in here, you can see that it'll pull the post four inches off the bottom, reduce the length of that post by four inches. Width refers to the diameter or the width of the stem wall. We have three categories of materials. These are set up on the back end of the program as part of implementation. And these can be whatever you want them to be. And you can associate a cost and a price with each of these. So for example, if we're doing permacolm, we just specify permacolm. We'll say we're using the 16 inch cookie and we'll do the optional hold down. So again, these are things that I have in my material database and these could be specific to your company in the way that you do your foundations. So now we have our materials for each of these. To dial in the length of the post, we are going to make the depth of the hole four feet. So it's coming down four feet below grade. And we're actually going to make the post offset five feet. What this is going to do is come up the four feet from the bottom of the hole and an additional foot above grade. So when I hit enter here, you'll see that our caisson has come up one foot above grade and the bottom of our post is now starting at one foot above grade as well. So now we've dialed in the length of our post. We've got our materials for each of these. If we go to a material list, you'll see that for our 12 posts, we have 12 cookies, 12 permacolms, 12 hold downs. When we output our pricing list, we'll see the costs and price associated with each of these. One other thing to note, you can change these on an individual wall basis. Under the advanced edits, there's more detail in a separate video, but just be aware that you can come in on an individual wall basis and you can make changes to the depths, the offset, the width, and the materials associated with those. When you make those changes, they'll also show up on the material list. So that's it for foundations. Quick overview. If you have additional questions, you can click on this feedback button. Thank you.